Hey, this is Douglas John Noble. It, this is vlog number three. It is Sunday, November 1st, 2015. And today I'm not going to go into too much about my background or anything. I'm just going to kind of tell you a couple of the cool things that I did today. I actually went to the woods with my neighbor who has a pickup truck and a chainsaw and we cut wood. Um, we have a little fireplace in our house. It's it's kind of a decorative thing. Like we've never used it to actually heat the home in the winter, although we live in Wisconsin, so you know, you definitely need heat in the winter time. One thing is I I'd never I haven't been in the woods cutting wood for, you know, probably since I was 18, 18, eight, I would say. I was just a little guy, you know, with my dad. Basically, you know, just walking around, doing whatever I could, probably getting in the way more more than I was actually helping at the time. But uh, I really, man, it was just good to get out and do some manly work. You know, use some physical energy. In most of my day-to-day -day jobs, what I do um, entails sitting or at, at my main job now, I actually have a standing desk because I just sit way too much I don't feel like I'm doing manly work most of the time at least not with my body you know it's good to kind of get out in the woods and saw up some trees and throw them in the back of the pickup truck you know we chop these trees down they were actually already dead standing trees that we found so we weren't killing any poor trees although when I was standing there I was thinking to myself we use the, we use like natural gas and we use different forms of fuel uh, that is not a renewable resource. We use all these energy sources to heat our homes that take thousands of years to produce these. And once they're gone, they're gone. You know, we're not going to get them back. Where these trees, they definitely, it what definitely wasn't an old growth forest. These trees were oak. They were probably, you know, 25 to 30 years old but they were perfect for firewood and they had grown in my lifetime you know so I didn't really feel bad I, I felt it felt great you know we'd knock down these trees and tie a big tie a big uh, chain and pull them out with the truck and I'm just thinking to myself this is amazing we live in just an amazing time how many calories would it take in any other time to pull those trees out of the woods and then we chop them up with a chainsaw it just the energy that it would take to make one of those cuts by hand would just be insane you know just take a ton of calories and we can just buzz right through it it felt good i don't know and i got home i chopped it all up with an axe and yeah it, it was satisfying, you know. I'm super dead tired right now, but I still feel good. The other exciting thing that I did today was I actually finished a book. Um, and I would say, as a man who's read a lot of books, this is this is my favorite book. I I was turned on to it actually by the new Duncan Trussell podcast, the podcast he put out last week with Aubrey Marcus. And the book is called The Four Agreements, A Practical Guide to Personal Freedom, a Toltec Wisdom Book. So basically the premise of the book is that we all live in a dream. And it's a dream that we've constructed and we make up all these rules. And the four agreements are these four principles that if you live your life by these principles, they will, you know basically get you closer to enlightenment get you to um you know what that's a lot of pressure to put on anybody you know um, maybe just to just to live well i would say the four so i don't think i'm spoiling anything in the book by telling you what the four agreements are the first one is be impeccable with your word basically what it's saying is be true to your word. Don't say words you don't mean. 
have control over what you say. And if you say something, you need to, you need to live by that. That's, that's what you said. So you have to now do that. The second is don't take anything personally. And this is huge. This is so many people get so offended all the time. And it's just, you don't need to. You don't need to have all that stress of taking something personally because you don't know what that person was thinking at the time. You don't know what their background is half the time. It's You don't know if they had a bad burrito two hours ago and they're just having a really bad shit attack. <laughs> you know, you just don't know. The next one is don't make assumptions. You know, don't assume things because so many times when you assume things, you're wrong. And even when you are right in certain ways, you can be wrong in others. The fourth is always do your best. And you know what? These are very simple principles. But the way he lays them out in the book is really inspiring, really powerful, I would say. And just a, it, it's a fairly quick read. Um, you know, if you sat down to read it, I would imagine you could, depending on your, your speed of reading, you know, a couple hours, really. Um, I, I would definitely recommend it. It's one of those books, I suppose, that you kind of have to be, you know, ready for it, maybe, to, to a certain extent, to actually grab, grapple with and grasp everything. But overall, I say it's, it's a pretty, a pretty good book. And if you were to implement these things, these simple ideas, you know, I think you would see some changes in your life for the better. That's all I got really. It's Sunday. I'm going to go spend some time with my family. Um, I'm really looking forward to keeping this up and in the next few days have some uh, some good ideas and some good stories and yeah I'm just really thankful and very fortunate that I'm able to do something like this. It's just, I'm just blown away by the technology and the, the time that we live in. It's, we're super fortunate. We're super fortunate to be able to breathe this air every single day. Whatever, I'm getting sappy. <laughs> All right. Take care, everybody. Love you. Happy Sunday.